Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, well there's... I keep doing that. <laughs> there's not much going on, I just need to wait and do more missions to upgrade my soldier's psi abilities. So that I can finally use the ethereal device, other than that there's really nothing to do. All of my four main soldiers that I'm most likely going to take on the mission all have neural damping and muscle fiber density and secondary heart or whatever that thing is called. The one that stops you from dying. What is it called? Yeah, secondary heart. So I don't need any more gene mods. Let's just keep waiting. Improved pistol. Yay, I don't care. Whoops. Improved pistol. Yay, I still don't care. Excavation. Excavation. Should I build a satellite nexus for the for the fun of it? Nah, who cares? Request from Germany, light plasma rifles. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> uh, that amount of money just kind of stole the breath out of my lungs. Stole the air out of it. But I don't need the money. But still. <laughs> Holy shit. 1800. What would it cost to make five light plasma rifles? Let's find out. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and make that. <laughs> that is totally worth it. Even though I don't need the money, why not? There's literally no reason not to do that. It's not like I need to keep the alloys. Money, please. Right, so I have a bit of money now. I have a wee bit of money. What shall I get? Everything? A lot of shiv upgrades that I don't care about. Sure. 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 Okay, cool. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry. <laughs> yeah. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. Another project? How about a half a dozen projects? What the hell do I spend my money on? I don't... I don't need anything. Uh, consumables? There's no point. <sighs> Can I donate my money to charity or something? Cool. 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 <laughs> cool. Awesome. Cool beans. Neato. Alright, so I think I upgraded my Archangel armor. I wonder if those stats are reflected when I go to buy it, because I want to know what it did, actually. Hmm, I can't remember what the stats were before. Maybe it carries more fuel now. Each turn of flight costs one fuel. Eh, whatever. I still don't want it, though. Action, please. Contact Here we go. Abductor. 15. Oh yes, I'm sure the entire crew is just made up of mutons, heavy floaters, and an ethereal. Bullshit. There's a sectopod. There's always a sectopod. Do I want to capture stuff? There is literally no point in capturing anything. Nothing. So, no. Let's give you something fun. Let's play around with something. What should, what should I do? Let's give him... Uh, let's give her a grenade. 
And there's three base explosive damage to units in radius. That's terrible. That doesn't even say how much damage it does. It's probably not much. Hmm. The usefulness of this really depends on how big the radius is. And it doesn't say. Ghost Grenade is the most expensive, so it's probably the most useful. But... I'm thinking Flashbang. I really want to try this ghost grenade out, though. Temporary stealth for the rest of the turn. Hmm. Eh, I'm gonna go with flashbang. Good to go. Yep. Where are we going to? Oh, I recognize this. This is Japan. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Operation Falling Engine. The UFO we detected landed in a remote area well away from any civilian population. We should ex Sounds like some serious workplace hazard. Falling engine. Maybe you shouldn't have put that engine on the top shelf so it could fall. Maybe you should have put it on the ground. Just a thought. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. <laughs> Fuck the flashbang. Apparently the flashbang doesn't have a lot of flash or a lot of bang. Look at that. Look at the radius of that flashbang. I'm sorry, but no, flashbangs have a larger radius than that. In terms of their effectiveness. Should have gone with the ghost grenade, I guess. That is going to be useful against almost nothing. Like, one target. And I might as well just try to shoot them. Anyway. It's an abductor class, so I should be reasonably careful. There is meld, which I should try to get. Just in case. You know. If I... Maybe my soldiers die and I need to... Upgrade another soldier. To replace them, so I would like to have a store of meld to do that with. Do you think I could upgrade Finn's Psy, psy abilities just by constantly using Psy Inspiration? That'd be kind of funny. Hmm. There's a thought. Maybe I should do that. Hmm. There's some melt. Oh, and there's a craft. I want you up here, but then you'd be all the way up front. Which is not good. Really, really not good. I'll put you here. Decent view of the front of the craft. Alright, so everybody has muscle fiber density. Got some serious mobility here. I'll just move you up. There's really no point in overwatching. I don't think I'm going to encounter anything big here. I mean, it's not true to say there's no point in overwatching, but there's little point. Alright, this should almost certainly reveal some enemies. There's probably right, probably right at the front of the... Yep. Well, not on the front. On the side. Hey, I can flashbang them. Oh, 
Ah, won't reach. Let's move up here, but not close enough to be discovered. put her here this time. Can I shoot him with a pistol? Wait a minute, you can see the enemy, but you can't shoot it with a pistol. Is there a range limit? With the pistol? Huh. I feel inspired. And now she's purple. I've always wanted to be purple. Hmm. Let's impotently launch one of these. Because why not? I'm never going to use them all up. And even if I do, they're probably going to do nothing. Oh, basic shot has a 0% chance to crit, and the headshot has a 100% chance. In other words, it's gonna die. Hmm. Hmm. If I could get two squares closer. That was an interesting move there. Let's get this party started. Now I can probably just kill every single one with Isley. Actually, wait a minute. This brings up an interesting question. Now, someone was saying that the... Um, well, okay, so in the zone... States... Killing a flanked or uncovered target does not cost an action. Someone was saying that they don't think that flying targets that get cover, a cover bonus simply for being flying, which is what's happening here. They're obviously not actually in cover. However, they get half cover simply because they're flying. Uh, someone was saying that the flying cover does not actually count as cover for the shot. Or at least they didn't think so. So I would like to know if that's true. Let's find out. Hmm... I don't need a headshot. No. Okay. Does it... That is true. Okay. I am glad. Because that obviously gives me an advantage. But at the same time, it highlights a horrible inconsistency that I've... I've noticed is pretty common in this game. Not necessarily inconsistency, but just... I mean, that is an example of inconsistency, but it's also an example of a bigger problem that this game seems to have, which is a lack of telling you important information that you need to make decisions. Like, you know, this thing will hurt the enemy. Like, I remember there was some sort of a Psy thing, one of the gene mods will do damage to any person who tries to, like, mind meld with you or, or anything like that, but it doesn't tell you how much damage it does. Same with this. Literally reading in the zone, killing a flanked or un- Covered target with a sniper rifle does not cost an action. Well, okay, I guess they said uncovered rather than not in cover. Literally speaking, these things are not covered by anything, but the only reasonable interpretation of that, based on every single thing I've done for the past roughly 30 hours or so of this game, has told me that cover is this thing. The shield indicates cover. This is half cover. So it is covered. So... I think the description for In the Zone is just straight out wrong. And if, if it's not straight out wrong, then it's extremely misleading. Extremely. 
uncovered. Yeah, okay, there's nothing actually covering it, but it's in cover. Come on. That's really weird. Very, very strange. Let's go punch you in the face. And I don't mean with my fist. I'm new at this. I'm just kidding. I was just trying to scare him. Hmm. I'd like to move up to the meld. Be mind f no, never mind. Can't mind for you. Can't see it. I guess I should probably just run and gun. That's interesting. The melt canister is actually kind of floating. Half of the feet are not actually touching the ground. All right, I'll run and gun. That's fine. I'm not going to be stingy with it. Hold on. There we go. Oh, apparently like there's a long turn, a uh, long cooldown on Psy Inspiration. Do you feel inspired, Finn? I do. I give you strength. Who is this you you speak of? The rocks? I don't think the rocks need to be any stronger. For they are stone and quite hard already. Hard of mind and hard of body. Let's go take a peek inside. Pretty much certainly gonna find something. Mm-hmm. It's a gaggle of floaters. It's a murder of floaters. A pride. Oh my god, you can actually see them. Well, I could kill one and then do a lot of damage to another, but if I can get an AoE off... I can get two. Hold on, that might be over the top. I could, after all... Ooh, what's their vision range? Hmm, one, two... <laughs> I'm gonna count it out. I wish there was an easier way to do this. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, like fifteen to sixteen is how far they can see away. One, two, three. Uh, wait, but how do you do it? How do you calculate a diagonally? Do you just go straight diagonal? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna move you here. After all those calculations. They're still close enough. Actually, that's even better. Now Isley can see all of them. And I can just hit all of them. And blow up their cover, too. Right there. Oh! None of you have any cover anymore. Okay. I think it's pretty clear at this point that in the zone is, m for the most part, better. It's just typically better than double tap. 
Not against a sectopod. Although, it, it really depends on the makeup of the enemies. I think in the zone seems to be coming in handy much more commonly. However, if you had a case where... I don't know, if you're fighting like just a sectopod, double tap is obviously better. If you have a sectopod and a couple drones, in the zone is probably better because you can just easily take out the drones and then shoot the sectopod. So, they're both good, there's no doubt about that, but I do think in the zone just seems to be better. I mean, just soften up the targets with some AoEs and some general gunfire and then just mop them up with Isley. Position confirmed. It's so good, it almost feels like cheating. That looks like some beautiful full cover. On the other hand, are there likely to be any more aliens here? Probably not. They're probably inside. So I actually need to move her up. I was wrong. They're flanking you. Well, I guess they technically are, aren't they? Okay. Rapid fire has a pretty good chance to kill it. And if it doesn't, I could always take it off, take it out with Isley. Alternatively, what can I do? Can't blow up both of their. Actually, I could blow up both of their cover, couldn't I? Well, no, it that still counts as cover. I can blow up one of their covers. Hmm. Let's move a bit closer. I can get all of their cover. Which is what I'll do. And the rest is up to Isley. Yeah, this is so good, it really almost feels like cheating. It's so, so good. I mean, look at this. Let's exercise her brain a bit. Hmm. It's only 50% chance to hit. I'm actually not sure what decides that. Is it will? Is it their health? Is it distance? Is it all of the above? I don't know, but let's try it. It worked. I was going to activate Close Combat Specialist. You're going to get shot. <laughs> uh. Now, instead of using ammo, I can simply punch you. Just be careful not to hit arrow, okay? I think you just covered arrow in goo. Total goo coverage. But it's okay. Aye, aye, Commander. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Yeah, let's do some reloading. Isley really needs to be re reloaded at this point. She's done so many shots. Hmm. 
Sounds like there's more lions on the map. Yeah, let's move up to this door. Let's spread out a bit here. No, hmm. I could move her up and reload and take another turn, but actually instead I'm going to do this. Because if there's enemies right in here, she might actually be able to shoot them from where she's at. Alright, so they're right up there. Got it. Yeah, I'm going to move you up. Let's reload. Gonna move you here. Alright, that's good. Next turn, we'll move in. Hmm. I guess I'll just move up here. Just get ready to breach. Could come in from the left. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to pack my troops in. They'll be fine. Okay, as always, there's no full cover up here, although I suppose this would... Actually, yeah, that's full cover. I guess I'll just move you there. How come every single time I come into this room, I never see them? That way. Okay. They're either right down here, or they're in there. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing she's invisible, huh? Well. I'm surprised that one in the corner that's literally staring right at her can't see her. I guess they have poor vision.
Okay then. I wonder if I can rain fire on their heads. I could try. Alright, let's try this. Please don't discover them. Okay, good. Alright, there's something weird with how this proximity mine determines whether it's going to hit someone. As you can see, it is hitting Isley before it hits the Muton in the corner. That makes no sense. None. It might have something to do with the height of the character. Anyway. Let's try that. Okay, I'm, I'm, click, I'm clicking. There we go. Now, I would like to burn them. Let's, they might just... Oh, shit. That is not the character I meant to move there. Whoops. On my way. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can aim this thing down. Kind of. Huh. It's weird. It looks like it's pretty much guaranteed to hit the one in the corner and not arrow, but it's going to miss... The, I... Whatever. Let's see what happens. Well, okay then. That was pretty effective. You're dead. Right. Well, that's a pro combo. Mimetic skin. Throw an assault trooper right into the mix of a bunch of enemies, which you can't possibly know if they're there in the first place, so that's kind of difficult, and then lay down a proximity mine and a flamethrower. That's a combination I'm never going to do for the entire rest of the game. Because it's kind of insane. I'd like to get some mind exercise here. See if she has an angle. Ah, she doesn't. In that case, inspire your troops. There you go, M. That might be a little bit of overkill, but it would be pretty hilarious. Is there any other way to kill it? There actually isn't. Unless I could move you up in mind fray. Nope, you're not going to reach. The hilarious option it is. Little bit of overkill there. Little bit. I don't care. And one overwatch. <laughs> that was fun. I don't even know where that other meld is. Maybe I can kill them all before it disappears. Probably not. I'm going to lose it, probably. Hmm. I blew up all my cover. Like, all of it. Ah, okay. If you kill everything before it can even have a turn against you, you don't even need cover, do you? Heading out. Okay. 
j'y vais. Gotta love them legs. Muscle fiber density. Running. Some dense fibers. Oh, it's outside. Nope. I'm just gonna kill the rest of them. Oh, hi. Ah, usually they're down there. Well. I think I'm just gonna... I think this will be my opener here. <laughs> that thing is amazing. Look at that. Oh, wouldn't it be so ironic to kill an ethereal with mind fray? Actually, have I done that before? I can't remember. Maybe I have. Ah, I easily can't see the ones in the back. Damn. Oh, you don't have any grenades left. Damn. I guess I'll just shoot you again, then. One hit point. Oh, I should have mind frayed. Oh, well. Actually, no, wait a minute. Those things have high will, right? So it probably would have... I think it would have had a very small chance to hit. You know, I want to try this flashbang out. Then again, actually, to get the most melt, I should kill them right now. So, okay, let's not. Position confirmed. Fire up. Operational objectives completed. Excellent. So, as we just learned, flashbangs suck. Might try the ghost grenade. Not a scratch on anyone. Ooh. Are better than I thought. <laughs> we now have a max level Psy soldier. Telekinetic field or mind control. Create an immobile telekinetic field that lasts through the enemy turn. The field distorts and deflects incoming attacks, granting plus 40 defense to both allies and enemies within the field. I remember using that on the final mission. Plus 40 defense is extremely good. Mind control. Very difficult side technique that if successful grants control of the target for three turns, robotic enemies are immune five turn cooldown. I'm gonna go with te telekinetic field. Although, I mean being a sniper, the chance of her... I'm getting a stretch in here. Ugh. The chance of her actually being close enough to use that field, which I believe is just like an AoE sort of thing around her, just like the Psy Inspiration, is pretty low. However, in the final mission, you're going to be going down corridors a lot and stuff like that, so she's actually going to be in with the rest of the troops quite a bit. So I think it will come in handy. And stuff. What the? Why does it still say increase our soldier's psionic strength? I have a max level person. I mean, Isley, she's she's maxed in every possible way. Do I need to use it? Wait, what? I don't I don't understand. We have no soldier capable of using the device. What, what do I need? How is Isley not capable? What's her will, by the way? It's 80. That's pretty damn good. How does she not have the Psy power to do it? It's 
weird. Hmm. Got a bunch of meld now. Should I start... I mean, I'm trying to save it up, but at the same time, maybe I should just do some general buffs. Are there any even decent stuff I can give my people? <laughs> You've got pretty much everything. Again, neural feedback, eh, depth perception... Uh, doesn't really matter. Grants offensive benefits to all nearby squad mates. I could be okay. Bioelectric skin doesn't matter. Adaptive bone marrow doesn't really matter. Hmm. Sure, depth perception. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. I could start giving more people mimetic skin, but uh, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Hyperreactive pupils? Sure. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Depth perception. Sure. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate. Yes, thank you, Valen. Va thank you, Valen. Valen. Thank you. Th can I please do stuff? Can I? 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 There we go. Thank you. Crystal corpses. Don't have enough. Four scientists. I don't even need scientists. I don't even have any science to do. Nagoya. Again? I was just there. What the hell? What have the aliens got against Japan? Well, thankfully, the gene mods just finished. Alright, let's go ahead. And... Should I give you the ghost grenade? Or just give you the scope? Let's give you the ghost, ghost, yeah, let's give you the ghost grenade. I want to try that thing out. Alright, everybody's got their stuff. Everybody's outfitted, and we're good to go. Mm-hmm. Strike one, prepare. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. Operation Crystal Mother. We're picking up civilian comm traffic, indicating alien activity spreading throughout a residential section of the city. We should move quick. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. I remember this map. I played this map on my I remember this map from my original run through of Enemy Unknown. I believe at the time I had I think it was two snipers, and I put both of them I think I put both of them up here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I put my snipers up here. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, telekinetic field that um, will protect anyone inside of it, just like a smoke grenade, has a very, very large radius, which is quite nice. Alright, um, what's the radius on this ghost grenade? Not very big. Okay, should I put... Isley right at the top and leave her there. I think I should. She should be able to stay there for the entire rest of the game and shoot pretty much anything. Yep. I think I will. Affirmative, Commander. 
Alright, now it did say very difficult, so there's probably a Sectobot. Spread out here. I actually want to save the civilians, even though I don't need to. And there it goes too. Ah, shit! It's no full cover. <laughs> There's some full cover. I guess I'll take it. Hmm. All right, let's move up a bit. Get moving. Look at us. Sie sollten jetzt weg hier. Does that body on the ground have no skin? That one right there? I don't, I don't think it has any skin. What the hell? Ew. Inspire the troops. It's really no point. Now just Overwatch. Overwatch, Roger. What the hell was that? Aliens. What else would it be? Ooh, that sounded like a sectopod. Oh, where's the full cover? Non-existent, that's where. Literally non-existent, there's no full cover out here. I can't use her to scout. Oh well. However, I could use the ghost grenade. <laughs> I could use the ghost grenade to scout. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's give this thing a shot. Ghost mode. Looks a little bit different from a medic skin. So it only lasts till the end of the turn, correct? Or actually, no, I think it's until the start of their next turn, so actually will last through the enemy's turn. Which means I can safely do this. Oh my god! Every enemy on the entire map is right here. Isley, this is gonna be such a shooting gallery for you, it's not even funny. I'm sorry, civilian, but something tells me you're gonna die. If not to enemy fire, <laughs> then you're gonna die to an AoE. Um. Why is there a, a civilian on top of a truck? Why would you run there? That makes no sense. You are a very silly person. Uh, 
I believe shooting anything would undo ghost mode. I'm not sure if launching a grenade would do it. But I don't exactly want to poke the hornet's nest at the moment. So let's save some civilians and get into a good position for next turn. Okay, Finn, I want you close enough to be able to shoot a rocket. You should be able to do that from here. Yeah, okay, you can, sh yeah, you can shoot it anywhere you want. Do I want to move you closer? Into half cover? Not really. No, forget the civilians. I mean, I I'm going to save them by killing the enemies. That's what I'm going to do. Jesus Christ, there's so many. Okay. I think I should just wait until next turn. Yeah, wh why show my hand? Why show my hand? I don't even want Overwatch. I don't want them to know I'm here. We'll get another civilian. Get moving. Mm, I don't want to move you up anymore. No. So I'm not going to do anything with you. Oh my god. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that a... That's a... Fu oh god, I didn't even see the goddamn sectopod. A cyber disc... Oh god. Okay, yeah, I'm not showing my hand. Nope. 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 Telekinetic field would be telekinetically awesome. However, Isley's in the zone ability is going to be much more useful here than that. This is going to be fun. This mission said very difficult, but what they didn't say is that all of the difficulty was concentrated in one place. So I'm simply going to hunger down. You, I will do nothing. And nothing. Enter. Whoa! Why did the Cyberdisc just teleport? The fuck? Thank you, game. I love you too. Not a good time to experience a bug. Civvy! Is that cyber just gonna get a turn of shooting in? Yes, yes, please get closer together, I encourage you. Oh god. AoEs, here we come. That civilian just decided to run away. That's a good idea. Okay. Well, teleporting cyber disc aside. I need to blow up all the things over there. And to do that, there is no perfect thing than a shredder rocket, because it means Isley can just pound through probably everything there except the sectopod. So that is step number one. Where's Finn? There's Finn. Turn. Alright, there we go. I'm I'm clicking. I'm game. Click click. Okay, fine. Don't shoot it. How about now? Wait, damage to a friendly. Oh, the civilian. Yeah, sorry, dude. The good of humanity. The, sa <laughs> the savior of all of humanity. Except the one human who just got blown up by a rocket. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of feel bad about that. He's kind of a bloody corpse now. I just killed a civilian. Oh, well. Needed to be done, kind of. 
I mean, I could have avoided hitting him if I avoided hitting the one muton around the side, but I really need to kill everything. Like, now. Okay. What can I shred? What's a guaranteed hit? That is. That is. That is. Oh wait, no, you're in cover! <gasps> I forgot about the cover thing. Oh well, she got a good couple hits off. Still though, I could have killed a lot more. Shit. Oh well, I'm still fine. Hmm. Well, the best move is probably to kill the cyber disc with your rapid fire, which is precisely what I'm going to do. <laughs> These are little obnoxious drones. I don't have any disabling shot or suppression for the sectopod, do I? No, I don't. I do have a smoke grenade, which I'm inclined to use on myself just to protect him from dying. Actually, no, it doesn't really matter. Because he's got the uh, secondary heart. He'll be fine. And I know no one else has a med kit to revive him, but if I end the mission, I believe that's pretty much the same thing as reviving your troop. You know, if you end the mission before... If you clear the mission uh, before they die out, I think they're okay. I think. I'm not certain. Alright, I need to give that thing stuff to shoot at. And there's no better person than Tyrone because he can take the shot very well. Because he can't be hit he can't be hurt for more than 33% of his health in one hit. However, if I move you up, that thing has overwatch and it's probably gonna trigger. What's the electropulse range? Would that reach? Probably not. That thing has never been useful, has it? Not really. Alright, I can launch a grenade. I don't want to just ignore these little shits. Then again, they might repair the sectopod or something. Eh. I need to go for the sectopod. So let's take a shot. And then grenade. It actually hit. Oh, there's a civilian back there. Man. Okay, you know what? I actually don't need to kill them because this... The chrysalids are not going to be able to get close enough to kill us. And I can kill them using Isley next turn. At no cost. So, there's no reason to. Just take another shot. Okay. We're going to do this to protect a few of our frontline troops. And I am also going to move Tyrone up into the smoke cloud to be able to do some damage and also to be able to take some shots. However, since he's going into the smoke cloud, when the overwatch pops, it is probably going to miss. Just try to hit him. Good luck. Okay. It hit. Fine. I can't see shit. Should I proximity mine? This thing never does anything. Fuck the proximity mine. Oh, 
Oh, learned an interesting fact about it too, by the way. Apparently it cannot attack the same target twice in the same turn, which is why it just selected someone else, who is also in the cloud, so it's probably gonna miss. Ah. Excellent. Oh, are you gonna repair it? Yeah, fuck you. Eh, it's only three, it's still dead. Ow. I felt that. I felt that laser to the face. And now we have a zombie. Well, future zombie. Oh, the civilians. Oh. I'm not a good at saving people. I'm really not. Are you gonna... Oh, okay. I thought you were going for the civilian. Well, I should be able to save more civilians than will die. Of all the people you could suppress, you suppress the one person who is the least combat effective. I don't really care that you just did that. It doesn't really matter to me. Okay. Isley, again. Just need to be careful. Shoot things that are not in cover. That is in cover. That is not in cover. Those shots are landing disturbingly close to Isley's feet. <laughs> Very disturbing. That is not in cover. That is also not in cover. Probably just rocket them, shouldn't I? Or I could shoot. Oh, I can't even hit the sectopod. Yeah, shoot a rocket. Is there another civilian? Ah, <sighs> there is. There's two civilians, okay. Alright. I'll leave that little muton over there, it's fine. Now, can I actually blow the thing's cover up? I don't think I can. No. It's not destructible. I could actually go... Oh, no, I can't quite punch it. If I could punch a sectopod to death, that would be the coolest thing ever in the history of the universe. Literally the coolest thing ever made in the history of the universe ever, for all time. And that is not an exaggeration. All right, let's just kill this damn thing. flame you to death. No, you're a drone. You don't care about flames. 71% chance to hit. Or... Hold on, can't you... I think you can shoot grenades in the air. I've seen it happen before. Hmm. Oh well. Can't win them all. That's a bad chance to hit. Alright, well that's going to give us some reaction fire, but it doesn't matter. 
I'm pretty sure he can take a shot. You are obnoxious and I hate you. Please die. Thank you. And you're dead. Probably. Wait a minute. There's more? What the hell's left? That wasn't it? <laughs> There's probably like a chrysalid hiding behind something. Alright, let's reload you. Just in case there's something nasty. Oh, it's the zombies. Yeah, even though they haven't turned into zombies, they're going to be. Wait, what? Or, oh, okay. Weird. If all our missions go as well as this one did, the aliens don't stand a chance. Panic has decreased across Asia. Remember, we will be watching. Excellent. All right, well, I still don't know why I have no soldier capable of using the device, given that I have a max level Psy soldier with a will of 80, which feels like it should be plenty, but apparently it's not. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, but I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna look into exactly what you need to use it. Because I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do some research on it. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.